Hello friends, uh, welcome to uh, the beginning of this uh, tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to be looking at uh, editing our GIS data. Uh, we are going to be using a software called QGIS Desktop, which is an open source software for geospatial. Uh, it is normally used by GIS analysts, uh, GIS developers, and uh, project managers to handle uh, geospatial or location-based uh, data. It is supported by a wide, uh, very wide uh, open source community. And uh, if you're interested, you can have a look at it uh, in the QGIS from the QGIS.org website. So let's get started. So I have opened the QGIS uh, desktop. This is the, its user interface. And uh, maybe I can uh, increase the font size. Uh, increase the font size to say 32 or there about okay so I have also uh, downloaded the data uh, the data source is uh, I've gotten it from uh, the HDX or humanitarian data exchange uh, website I'm going to share the link in the description below, but uh, for your interest, this is how it looks like. This is a website, uh, and it is a data that has been uh, uh, compiled or has been collected by the Hot OSM, uh, Humanitarian Open Street Map, and it's for the Kenya Health Facilities. So I've already downloaded that data. You can navigate to the user interface and also uh, you can navigate to the website or using the link and then you can also download it. So in this case, um, I would highly recommend downloading the geo package. Uh, that is what we are going to be using. So uh, let's continue into our QGIS. So we are going to import our data. So I'll just do a drag and drop from my download location. Yeah, so this is uh, the, this data represents the health facilities in uh, Kenya. Uh, for those of you who don't know where Kenya is, it's uh, in the east eastern side of Africa, uh, next to or close to the Horn of Africa. And so this is what we have. Uh, this is the representation of the the tabular representation of the data. So I'm just gonna close it and uh, maybe. You can also do some few maybe cool things. You can overlay the OpenStreetMap here from the browser part of the QGIS software. So you can see where the points are located, even in the map of the world. Uh, so, yeah, so the, the map takes some time to load. But uh, this is where Kenya is located with, re with respect to the uh, world. So I'm going to remove that layer because we are not using it. And uh, let me zoom into my layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, edit or I'm going to first of all remove uh, some of these data that are crowdsourced. You usually find that they have duplicates. So I'm just going to remove the duplicates as a start. So inside this, I've clicked this toolbox under processing. So I'm just going to search for the particular tool that I'm going to use. Uh, that is duplicate. So I'm going to delete uh, duplicates by geometries. This means that I want to delete any data that, if there are any points that are sharing the same coordinate. So I'm just going to run this. Yeah, and you'll notice that it has uh, removed uh, 59, uh, 59 records. So this is what we have uh, as a cleaned data. And then I think I could also extend my search to remove duplicates by attributes. And uh, the input layer here is the clean data. So this clean data is already has already filtered the data. Uh, he has removed the data that share the same coordinates. So now I want to remove data that share the same names or their about or the same, you know, uh, because I'll consider them as duplicates. So let's, let me just, oh, okay. Yeah, I need to select a field. So in this case, I can check on the fields that I need to filter. Uh, using this field to match duplicates by, I can use that. So I'm looking at the ones that share a name. 
and uh, I think I'll make a reference to this data. Let me just open the attribute table. So we have the name and we have amenity. Yeah, so I think I'll just go with the name. Uh, I can also add OSM ID, although I highly doubt that the, there is data that share the same ID. So I'll just do a quick run and then you see there is no data. So our retained count is uh, 14,400 uh, points. So I'm just going to close it and uh, I'm going to export this data. So I do not need this filter because it has not cleaned the data further. So I'll just save this data somewhere. So I'll just use export and I'll export these features as. Um, oh, an additional thing before I forget, uh, we, I also need to edit or to remove unwanted fields. So think of this as a cleaning data exercise. So I'm going to clean, uh, remove some of these fields. Um, so I'm just going to, sorry, I clicked on this pencil icon. And when you click on this pencil icon, it starts an edit session. And then I'll click, I've clicked on this button for deleting fields, the one with the red X, the top here. So I'm going to remove the OSM ID. Uh, also remove the building because I do not need it. I'm going to remove source as well. I'm also thinking of removing this health CA underscore one. Uh, I don't know what it represents. And then we have the uh, full address and also capacity type. So let me just remove those. So we are going to remain with uh, five fields. I'm not sure about this address city. Yeah, even for the address city, it does not, it does not seem like it's going to be of much help. So let me remove the address city as well. Yeah, so now we have four fields. So after editing, I'm going to click on this save icon. So it's going to save our that, that layer. Then I'm going to end the edit session by just clicking the pencil icon again. So I'm going to export this data. And uh, say I'll select save features. So I'm going to save it as a geo package. Uh, the rest of the options, I'm going to leave them as uh, default. And for this layer, I'm, I'm going to call it health. Uh, facilities maybe yeah i'm just going to call them health facilities and for the file name i'm also gonna call it uh, health facilities as well uh, facilities and then i'm gonna save it in the desktop yeah so it is a geo package and it, ha it will be having a dot gpkg extension so I'm just going to save it. OK, so I've saved my data. So we are done with uh, editing our data and filtering our data. So I don't we are no longer going to be using QGIS. So I'm just going to close this session and uh, let's meet in the next uh, tutorial or in the next one.